When looking through the catalog of H5P content in the eCampus Ontario H5P Studio, you might find content that you would like to reuse. Say, for example, I found this self-assessment and it's a self-assessment of entrepreneurship and I can see that it's openly licensed and ready to be reused. I might want to reuse this but adapt it or, or adjust it to better suit my teaching context. In order to reuse this content, first I'll need to be registered with an account for the eCampus Ontario H5P Studio. If you haven't yet done that, please take a minute and do that now. Once I'm registered with my account, I can go ahead and at the bottom of the interactive, I can click the reuse button. I'm going to download it as an H5P file and then briefly upload it back into my account. I'll just place it on my desktop and I'll remember the name of the file. Once it's downloaded, I'll use the create button in my account to be able to create a new type interactive using that other interactive as a template or model. Once you have the file ready to go, choose to upload this into your content. Upload that H5P file by clicking the Upload a File button and retrieving it from where you downloaded it to. Go ahead and click the Use button to use that file. H5P will upload it as a template for you to adapt. Once it's uploaded, you can go ahead and you can begin by revising the title or adapting and manipulating any of the content within the presentation or the interactive. Use the Done button as you progress to save your changes. Do not reach for the Save button until you've fully completed any changes to your interaction. Move through all components of the interactive, adjusting as you see fit. Once you've completed this, make sure that you fill out the metadata along the left-hand side. You want to include a descriptive title, which can often be the same as the title of the interactive that you have posted here. Choose your subject area, and then take a look down on the left-hand side. If you would like to keep this interactive private to yourself, you can keep it as a work in progress. Alternatively, if you've perfected it and you'd like, you can share it back into the catalog by clicking Show in Catalog and removing Work in Progress. In my case, I'm going to keep this as a work in progress. Once you've made the revisions that you'd like to see, you can go ahead and hit the Save button in order to view it as a preview of what students will see in their courses. Work through the preview and make sure that the changes that you have taken have taken effect on the, the preview. See our videos for how to embed or link this in your course your presentation, or in a Zoom chat window. You'll be able to find any reused interactives or created interactives here in your dashboard area. Again, these are sorted by most recent, so the most recent interactives you have built will appear first in the list. However, this is a list of all interactives that you have been building through time. Remember that you can have co-contributions where you share interactives with your colleagues in order to build them together. And you can build a list of favorite interacti interactions or interactives that you have seen in the catalog. You can find those favorites here in the My Favorites area. You can always go back and re-edit an interactive and any edits you make will take place and update automatically into the courses or presentations where they have been linked or posted. No need to re-upload. <laughs>